Hi again. I'm Pierre. Welcome to the garage. Uh, today's a beautiful day again. Like uh, we're getting, uh, you know, very very crappy uh, weather this uh, spring. I find getting cold nights sometimes, and uh, but starting to get better. I hope it lasts. I mean, I'm uh, I like heat. I mean, cold is a tool for that. Uh, from time to time. I uh, send Philip, my friend at uh, Phyllis Channel, uh, I send him to, uh, you know, tool hunting. Uh, I just spot uh, good deals and he goes there and he fills up his truck and uh, sometimes he runs out of money and uh, still good uh, good stuff to pick up and uh, <laughs> he just uh, calls me and says, hey, I got something that might be interesting for you. So this time he came out with uh, some kind of a drive uh, VFD for a DC motor. It's a simple unit, but it's uh, gonna do what I needed to do with the. Uh, remember this one, the 30 to 1 uh, parallel shaft uh, gear motor. Um, I just got a project with that, and uh, he knew he knew I needed this thing, so he just kind of uh, was nice enough to uh, spot it and pick it up for me. GM means something with that friend, but I mean what are what are friends for though, hey? Eh? Uh, this is a Pentapower multi-drive. Uh, the model number is, uh, sorry if I need notes, KBDM slash 240D. Uh, what it does, it works on um, 120 volts or 240 volts or something. It will make uh, uh, voltage from 0 to 90 or if you work on 240 volts it will make uh, voltage from 0 to 180 uh, and it will drive uh, variable speed uh, forward and reverse the uh, DC motor exactly what I needed for the project uh, that it is coming with uh, with this motor uh, we'll go in depth let's see the inside of it and let's see the features and the, the interesting parts of this Okay, we now we see the uh, unit up close. I uh, had the uh, power power connected. The uh, outlet is connected to the motor too. And uh, let's see what it. Uh, I removed the two screws there. That's uh, all that holds the cover. Uh, got the uh, maximum and minimum uh, potentiometer there. Forward, reverse, on and off. And uh, these switches, like they, uh, if you go forward, you go forward just straight like this. If you want to go reverse, you press down the switch and it won't go reverse. The switch will lock in the middle. You release a little bit, the switch releases, then you go, re you go reverse. Uh, going back forward, up, locks, you let it go, it will unlock, and then you can go forward because there it says allow motor, motor to stop before reversing so that would help uh, opening the cover <coughs> the inside of this is like pretty uh, pretty straightforward uh, you got one uh, one little switch there that says one 115 and if you flip you're gonna go to 230 uh, if you got 240 or 220 that will work no problem at all here we got 120 so 115 and uh, 110 or 120 uh, no problem whatsoever with this simple to connect line input DC output there on these two connectors just try to uh, <laughs> see something because wires are kind of in the way a little bit uh, I hope the this is not one of the most recent uh, Units, but I just hope the other uh, the other newer un units, uh, sorry, are uh, a little bit better. Uh, <laughs> you know, more uh, it's you see clearer in there. Anyway, uh, input fuse. This resistor there is for um, you know, very you know it's not a variable uh, adjustable. You you put the resistor there according to uh, the load you intend to put. On the on the unit, uh, I got a quarter horsepower motor on this, uh, so 
this is uh, I need like a 0.05 ohm resistor uh, this is a 0.1 but there's another one in the back and if you put two in parallel like that they're even so you just divide by two there's a complicated formula but equal resistors it's going to be a little bit more simple uh, you got here a potentiometer for a maximum speed of the motor minimum speed of the motor on this side here you got uh, <coughs> deceleration uh, parameters and another one it's uh, it's just almost impossible to see you got acceleration parameter so y you can ramp up and ramp down the motor on uh, on this unit uh, output fuse you got uh, input regulation in the motor like uh, according to the uh, what's you know what's demanded on the motor it will keep the revolution constant and this here is the uh, the current and load uh, you set this potentiometer to uh, limit the load at maybe 1.5 or at maximum two times the uh, current that uh, the motor might uh, might need in order to uh, protect the motor and everything uh, I think this is pretty much right and let's see how it performs now uh, let's just turn on the unit simple on off switch got the pilot lamp I hope it sees it shows on the uh, on the camera but anyway the little lamp there is on uh, we want to go forward and we'll test the uh, speed on this uh, go to, let's say the 50 percent this is 50 percent and uh, let's see how I uh, how we do a speed uh, we're turning like uh, if you I think you can see there we're turning 47 rpms and if we go let's say to 75 uh, percent we're 71 rpm 72 and if we go to full uh, 100 rpms we're 97 96 at 100 percent and the motor seems to be running very smoothly here the gear a little bit but uh, you know that's uh, that's normal gearbox and uh, I mean, uh, with uh, straight cut gears a little noisier but very acceptable let's turn this down oh there's no deceleration because we uh, end up cutting the power pretty straight and let's go for reverse we're going 96 if we go 75 it's a visual only so like uh, it might differ a little bit let's make it as close as possible we're going 73 uh, 50% going 47 which is pretty uh, much like the other direction and this uh, rpm meter is not going much go uh, under 40 rpms but uh, let's say we're at 40 percent uh, that's uh, 41 so but this thing doesn't go like it doesn't run under uh, under 40 rpms so limitations and as far as voltage is concerned let's play it dangerously DC volt uh, let's make it a hundred percent the voltage will be displayed there 89 volts 0.8 uh, let's give it visually about 50 percent we're getting 42 42 volts 
which is pretty close from uh, from half the voltage. This seems good so far. So this unit is going to be uh, performing what I what I intended to do is going to be doing pretty good. So let's wrap this up and uh, let's repackage this thing. Put it back up. Um, I'm not uh, I'm not involved with uh, Penta Power just to uh, make things clear. Uh, I got this unit used, and uh, if there are any omissions or errors, I mean it's your it's my own it's my own fault. So, um, but uh, for driving motors, DC motors, very speed, then uh, if you don't really need uh, very advanced features and uh, you know complicated stuff, I mean that's. Uh, that's a that's a pretty uh, neat little unit you can have for between I would say a hundred and two hundred dollars uh, on a newer uh, on the new stuff. Okay, thanks to all of you for viewing, being there. Uh, don't forget to subscribe. Don't forget to thumbs up if you liked it. Even my own fans, just uh, don't don't leave me down. Uh, comments are appreciated. And until next video, hope you're. Uh, Hope you're good and uh, just uh, see you next time.